So this is both cool and frightening. A group of Russian and South Korean researchers has begun their attempt to bring the woolly mammoth back from extinction via cloning. They began this process by extracting DNA from a very well-preserved mammoth specimen discovered in the Siberian permafrost in 2013. Led by Dr. Huang wu so a professor of the Korean Foundation of Biotechnology Research, the experts took a selection of samples of bone marrow from the front left leg of the mammoth during a special symposium at a university in Siberia. The samples will be examined at a laboratory by scientists with the hope of being able to clone one of the pre historic animals. Dr. Semyon Grigoriev, the director of the Mammoth Museum in Yakutsk, said, We are taking samples of bone marrow. It is one of the best materials for DNA analysis. The process is quite monotonous and requires considerable physical effort. If the samples are good, then our coordinated work, I think, will allow in a year or two to decipher the world's first nuclear genome of the mammoth. Today, the technology allows it. The perfectly preserved remains of the mammoth, complete with the creature's famous hair were discovered two years ago in May of 2013. It was discovered in the Sakha Republic permafrost region, having been frozen for about 28,000 years. Mammoth blood was also found in the permafrost close to the perfectly preserved trunk. It is thought the carcass belonged to a female mammoth aged between 50 and 60 when she perished. The samples taken will be studied in a new laboratory for molecular paleontology. It is the only one of its kind in Russia and will conduct extensive analysis of the mammoth's living cells and DNA. Woolly mammoths coexisted with early humans who actually hunted them for food. They are the best studied of all prehistoric animals because of the discovery of frozen carcasses in Siberia and Alaska, as well as mammoth poo and skeletons. The mammoth was roughly the size of a modern African elephant standing up to 11 feet tall and weighing about 7 tons, and its fur and long hair protected it from the harsh winters. The remains found in the Saka Republic were the best preserved ever found, and researchers believe there is a good chance of being able to clone the animal. The process is kind of neat. To clone the mammoth, an egg will be implanted into a live elephant for 22 months. That's crazy. Imagine being pregnant for 22 months. I mean, I have no personal experience, but imagine that would suck. And if this proved to be successful, there are plans to bring back even more extinct creatures, such as the dodo bird, the Carolina parakeet, and the quagga, a plains zebra, which once lived in South Africa but died out in 1883. And if you're like me and really want to see the opening of a real-life Jurassic Park, researchers say, well, that's not possible because dinosaur DNA is just too old. But of course, there are speculations out there that say dinosaurs did not all die out all those millions of years ago. So you never know. Now, when it comes to cloning, I've always had a thought, and of course, this is just my opinion. I personally believe that we all have souls, whether you're a human or animal, and it's our souls that really shape us and our characteristics. Now, if something is cloned, uh, is there actually a soul in there or is that just like a empty shell, empty vessel? Uh, where maybe something not so good can just go and hijack this thing. And I don't know if you guys watch one of my favorite shows, Supernatural, and uh, spoiler alerts, you remember the part when Sam came back and didn't have a soul? You know, that was all kind of really messed up. I mean, it'd be super cool to see the mammoth again, and uh, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for the dodo bird. I mean, just the name itself is funny, dodo. It also kind of sounds like an insult. If I call someone a dodo, that just doesn't sound good. But anyway, all this cloning stuff really does kind of make me nervous because I think one day we're going to cross the line and start cloning humans. And I'm just not too sure what's going to be happening inside those bodies. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on the story in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.